So I want to step back for a moment and just sort of try to wrap my head around this notion that what we think is real is not real. I mean, it's sort of we have almost a fictional representation of reality out there. Why? I mean, wouldn't wouldn't it be to our advantage to, you know, have an accurate perception of the world? I mean, wouldn't that uh, help us survive? I'm going to give my very simplistic view of this before Donald gives the technical scientific view. I mean, the way we think about it as neurologists, it's practical. So I, I as I say, sort of, I, I think about things in a more practical way because I have to solve them practically for an actual person. And the way we think about our how we perceive things is that uh, we just can't handle all this information that we have. That it's just, you know, it, it's too much. We'd be bombarded with visual and other sensory um, information all the time. So what we have to do really is just have some sort of a, a way of narrowing that down to um, pay attention to the thing that will stop us falling down the stairs or the thing that will allow us to learn what we need to learn. And um, that is why we're constantly filtering out things like um, sensations. You're not feeling the chair underneath you now because it's not important for you to feel the chair. But the minute you start thinking about it, well, now you're feeling it. Um, and that these, you know, if you were constantly aware of everything that was happening around you, you wouldn't really be able to function. You need to shut down something. From my perspective, for my patients, that's something that can lead to really big problem sometimes. You know, I m meet people who are um, blind, although they have the capacity to see, they can't see. We don't fully understand how that happens, but we wonder if it is a sort of malfunctioning of this ordinary filtering system, which we need in order to function on a day-to-day -day level. I think what evolution has done for us is trying to keep us alive. And if seeing the truth was critical to keep it, keeping us alive, it would show us the truth, but it turns out it's not critical. In fact, seeing the truth gets in the way of doing what you need to stay alive. And I think a good example is the desktop interface on your computer, and that's what I think evolution has actually done for us. I think that our perceptions of space and time are like the desktop of a computer interface, and physical objects are like icons on that desktop, and that's what evolution has really done for us. It's given us a user interface and the reason is, for example, if you're, if you're writing an email to a friend and you, the icon for that email is blue and rectangular and in the middle of your screen, does, does that mean that the file in the computer is blue and rectangular and in the middle of the computer? O of course not. Anybody who thought that just doesn't understand what an interface is about. It's not there to show you the transistors and voltages and magnetic fields. It's there to hide all that stuff. If you had to toggle voltages to craft an email, your friends would never hear from you. Right, the, the truth in that example gets in the way. If you had to face the truth, you couldn't do what you needed to do. It's too you're, you're saying the truth is to actually understand the underlying uh, reality. networking. That's right. The underly right. underlying reality. That, that's right. Yeah, in, in, by the way, I'm just using the computer as an example and transistors as the, quote, metaphorical truth in that example. I'm not saying that that's the exact reality. Once you get the metaphor, you can throw that away, right? But, but whatever the reality is, Evolution doesn't need to show us that reality. It needs to give us eye candy. It needs to give us a, a user interface that lets you do what you need to do and, ignore, and control reality. Of course, we have to control objective reality, but you can control it even if you're completely ignorant about what it is, like we do every day with our computers. We control all those transistors and voltages, and almost all of us are completely ignorant about what we're really controlling. That's what evolution has done. It's explicitly shaped our perceptions not to show us the truth because that would get in the way.